Hello, I am Sibinder Singh. Today I am going to discuss the question of INMO 2017, problem 6. The question follows this way. Here it is given that n is an integer and x is, is equal to summation of k is greater than or equal to 0 n c 2 k times 2 to the power n minus 2 k into 3 to the power 2 k. So we need to show that 2x minus 1, 2x and 2x plus 1 forms sides of a triangle whose area and end radius are also integers. So let's begin. Solution. We have x is equal to summation of k greater than equals to 0 uh, and c 2k 2 to the power n minus 2k into 3 to the power k. Also consider, uh, so let's see, this is a very, uh, just let me write a step more. Uh, you get nc 2k times 2 to the power n minus 2k into root 3 to the power 2k. So you can see here, this is just even terms but if all terms were included then this would be this would be expansion of 2 plus root 3 whole to the power n i am to say that if summation of k is equal to 1 to n and c 2k 2 to the power n minus 2k times root 3 to the root 3 to the power k okay uh, sorry let's write here n c k uh, and n minus k times this so this is the whole sum and and also and it's k is equal to 0 to 1 okay then this is equal to 2 plus root 3 whole to the power m so this is the binomial expansion of this so we right now x is the only even terms of this expansion right so consider this term uh, k is equal to 0 to something okay whatever k is greater than equals to 0 okay I, I will see later on what is that and and c 2k plus 1 times 2 to the power n minus 2k minus 1 times root 3 to the power 2k plus 1 so 2k times root 3 let me take it out to root 3 okay so it won't matter because this is a constant. So this is equal to root 3 times summation of k greater than equals to 0 and c 2k plus 1 times 2 to the power n minus 2k minus 1 times 3 to the power k. See, this is an integer, right? This is an integer terms because this is the number of ways we can choose 2k plus 1 object out of an object. And this is, of course, an integer. So this will be integer when uh, this is greater than 0 if 2k plus 1 is less than equals to n, all right? So 2k plus 1 is less than equals to n or k is less than equals to n minus 1 by 2 and k is an integer. So this will be greatest integer function of n. Also, k is greater than equals to zero, so that is so we can still write k is equal to zero to n minus one by two, and it's greatest integer function. Okay, but uh, it's not so necessary. I mean, that's okay. Uh, so let me write this term as y, where y is an integer, in fact, a positive integer, right? Because each term is positive here. Correct. So this is equal to root three y. Hence, we get this odd term plus this even term is equal to uh, 2 plus root 3 whole to the power n, right? Because even an odd mix, this sum. So we get x plus root 3y, x plus root 3y is equal to 2 plus root 3 whole to the power n. Similarly, uh, let's write this equation 1 and... Uh, uh, write this summation of k is equal to 0 to n and c k times 2 to the power k times 
uh, okay here 2 to the power n minus k let's write here this way two to the power n minus k times minus root three to the power k okay so this is what this is two minus root three whole to the power n right or two minus root three whole to the power n can be written as i'm just uh, factorizing it in terms of all terms and even terms so nc 2k times 2 to the power n minus 2k times minus root 3 whole to the power 2k that will be 3 to the power k right and uh, the odd term will be summation of k greater than equals to 0 and c 2k plus 1 and 2 to the power n minus 2k times minus root 3 whole to the power sorry here will be 2 right uh, minus root 3 whole to the power 2k plus 1 all right so uh, I'm just writing this to be minus root 3 times minus root 3 whole to the power 2k and what will be that that will be 3 to the power k right so let me write here this is into 3 to the power k okay so this is what this is x minus root 3 y therefore we got x minus root 3 y is equal to 2 minus root 3 whole to the power n this is equation 2 where x belongs to integer and y belongs to integer in fact they are positive integer or natural number okay uh, fine so i hope you understand how y is a natural number and positive integer and x is also positive integer okay now we need to show that this form a triangle so let's write here okay uh, just from equation one and two from equation one and two just multiply them that you you will get x plus root three y times x minus root 3 y is equal to uh, 2 plus root 3 whole to the power n times 2 minus root 3 whole to the power n this will be in fact 2 square minus root 3 square whole to the power n so for minus 3 is 1 1 to the power n is equal to 1 and what will be lhs lhs will be x square minus 3 y square okay so here right x square minus 3y square is equal to 1 let this be star now we need to so that what 2x minus 1 2x and 2x plus 1 forms a triangle right 2x minus 1, 2x, and 2x plus 1 forms a triangle. So, when will this happen? See, uh, we write, we draw a triangle. Uh, let it a is equal to 2x minus 1, b is equal to 2x and c is equal to 2x plus 1 this form a triangle if it holds a triangle inequality and that means a plus b greater than c b plus c greater than e and a plus c greater than b right so this means that if you sum 2x and a plus b is equal to 4x minus 1 a plus b is equal to 4x minus 1 note that x is greater than equals to 2 to the power n right 
because these are all positive terms so this is greater than equals to 2 to the power n so this is in fact greater than equals to 1 i mean greater than 0 right so greater than equals to 1 then 4x minus 1 is greater than is uh 0 sorry uh for a plus b is 4x minus 1 and c is 2x plus 1 so a plus b minus c will be minus 2x minus 1 this will be 2x and this is greater than 0 right similarly b plus c minus a should be greater than 0 that is 2x plus 2x plus 1 minus 2x plus 1 is equal to uh, so we cancelled you get 2x plus 2 obviously this is greater than 0 and a plus c minus b is also greater than 0 so you get 4x minus 2x is equal to 2x greater than 0 okay so this is a very simple to so, show and you got that this form a triangle right so this is a necessary condition to form a triangle now we need to find uh, uh, so that this form a triangle also area and in radius are integers right so we need to show this thing so let's proceed you know the formula of a area of a triangle uh, this is equal to square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c right where uh, let's draw again a is equal to 2x minus 1 b is equal to 2x c is equal to 2x plus 1 so s is equal to a plus b plus c well, divide by 2, right? So 2x minus 1 plus 2x plus 2x plus 1 will be 6x divided by 2. This is equals to 3x. So let it me write triangle square. Triangle square means area of triangle whole square. Okay. So this is 3x times 3x minus a. So 3x minus 2x plus 1. That is x plus 1. 3x minus 2x is x and 3x minus 2x minus 1 is x minus 1 so you get 3x squared times x squared minus 1 right but we have shown that 3x squared minus 1 is equal to 3y squared right x squared minus 1 is equal to 3y squared so 3x squared times 3y squared from star so this is equals to 9x square y square or 3xy whole square therefore triangle will be 3xy that is area of the triangle is 3xy since x is a positive integer y is positive integer 3 is a positive integer so this is a positive integer all right so okay and then after in order to calculate in radius what is in radius we denote it by r right r is equal to triangle by s so let me introduce here if uh, okay let's draw triangle let's draw a triangle and a circle this is the center of the circle so this is perpendicular right then this is called r and this is called in radius right so i'm not gonna elaborate it too much so let's use this formula this is this triangle by s so what is triangle area is 3xy and s is equal to 
3x right so this is y which also belongs to natural number or positive integer right as we have shown here that y belongs to z plus okay then we have shown that the area and in radius are also integers so this is how this problem is solved thank you and have a nice day